Good morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. Well, update for the day. We got up this morning about 6. Uh, we started immediately hauling gravel. We had a big gravel pile delivered and uh, we're putting it over top of the, the white or the uh, black drain pipe that goes around the houses. And so we covered those up with gravel. We'll backfill that with dirt later. Uh, what we're supposed to have happening is a, a cement crew come in uh, to fill some of these blocks and, and do some work we want done. They're not here yet. It's after 10. <clears throat> and I kind of wanted to show you this. I think I showed you this before. This right here, let me get you in the camera. This right here is a $3,000 hole in the ground. Trying to build a well, drill a well, and uh, it just didn't work out. You know, it wasn't, it was not the most high's uh, will that, that we get water there. And so what we're doing today is I've called in another well driller. The man, uh, actually the crew, who drilled our first well. And uh, I've, asked, I've asked him to put in another one. And we're trying to put this one in down here. This is where our initial community is going to be set up. Um, we're going to have a few houses down here. Uh, this is one block right here. One cul-de-sac, if you will. And then we're going to have another cul-de-sac down in the woods that way. But here's our well driller setting up his gear. One of the first videos I did on the Shofar Mountain website was of these guys drilling. And uh, when he came out this time, he was like, wow, it's really different. So that's the well drilling crew. And hey, here's the deal. I cannot stand Woo! That's loud. Let me go up here. I personally never liked pastors who would stand up in the pulpit and beg people for money. I didn't like pastors who passed the plate and then passed the plate again and passed the plate again. Pass it at Sunday school, pass it for the main offering, pass it for two special offerings. They used to bug me. And so when I had a uh, Round Prairie Community Church, we just put an offering box in the back. And I didn't even mention offerings. And you know what? The Most High took care of it. And uh, we did fine. And so what am I telling you this for? Well, that's a good hill. Let me get up here in the shade. We got a lot of projects going on here at Shofar Mountain. You know what our vision is. I've talked about that in other videos. Um, we feel led by the Most High to create this place. And it takes money. Some of you may feel led by the Most High to uh, contribute, all right, to make an offering to Shofar Mountain. And if you want to do that, I'll thank you for it. We could use it. Um, you see what we're doing? I'm not holding anything back. I pretty much show videos of everything we're doing here. If you're a Hebrew Israelite, you're welcome to come and visit. Um, if you feel led, I'm not begging you, but if you feel led to, to make an offering to Shofar Mountain, you can do so at shofarmountain.com. Um, you can go to our website there. There's a PayPal thing, and uh, you can make an offering to us there. I would appreciate it if you did. Y'all, I hope, would bless you for it. But, you know, I'm not going to pray over a shawl and send it to you. <laughs> you know, if, if you really want a rock, I'll send you one. Uh, that was our joke here. We'll just offer prayer rocks and send them to the... Uh, guys, I'm not doing that. But honestly, if you do feel led, shofarmountain.com. We have a PayPal thing set up. Uh, cool. That's probably the last time you're ever going to hear Pastor Joe talk about how you can give tithes and offerings to Shofar Mountain. But there it is. We're going to drill a well today. We're uh, putting the foundations up. You can see back in the background there, we have two foundations up. We're putting another house up on little piers. Uh, we're getting that piers leveled out today. Uh, I may show you that, Sister Naomi, daughter Naomi. I uh, have to talk to somebody about that first. And uh, I've got a basement going into another house today. All right, that's what we're doing. I hope you're staying busy. Praise y'all, it's not that hot out here today. It's, it's still feeling pretty good. Hey, I've got work to do. I'll see you out there.